Cooper Marcher here. I love this story and it's such a great idea. Second graders write heartfelt stories from shelter dogs perspectives to get them adopted. That's right, a group of elementary school students are helping to promote shelter animals in search of forever homes. Second graders at St. Michael's Episcopal School in Richmond, Virginia have created artwork accompanied by letters written to potential cat and dog parents from the perspective of the animals themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, I'm Pit Kato Chip. I'm a pit bull, one story read. <laughs> I won't hurt you. I'll give you lots of kisses. I like the animal shelter, but I want to live with you. Christy Peters, director of the Richmond Animal Care and Control, told Digital News that she worked with her son's teacher, Kenzie Jones, on the project. Jones was the brainchild behind the adorable letters, Peters said. The class was working on persuasive writing, and they wrote pieces as if they were speaking on behalf of the shelter dog trying to get adopted, Peters said. I said, that's the coolest idea. Let's do it. A representative of St. Michael's said students were assigned a dog or a cat from the RACC. They were then briefed on the background and temperament of the furry friends. The written stories and illustrations were later hung on the outside of kennels to motivate potential adopters to bring an animal home. This classroom project collaboration allowed me to continue my two greatest passions, children's literacy and helping animals in need, Jones, who is also an RACC volunteer, said in a news release. I am so proud to see my students rise to the occasion and write amazing persuasive paragraphs through the eyes of one of their RACC dogs. All the dogs deserve a loving home. I am so very happy to be able to help neglected animals find great forever families, said St. Michael's second grader, Daniel Petrosky. Peters said about 24 stories were written about dogs plus one cat, yay. Peters and Jones had the students focus on RACC's oldest residents, the longest residents and animals who needed some extra help in finding homes. Jones said, Eight animals were quickly adopted after their stories were written and read. It's such a creative way that we partnered with this school to bring awareness and hope. It's something other shelters in the country will do to market their shelter animals, Jones said. What a great idea this is. Perhaps some of you know children who would like to do this. It could become a movement. <laughs> Cooper Matchy here. Ciao.